two, three. Down. Thank you. Try that again. One, two, three. Down. Thank you. And I want to thank all of you. And it is a joy to be with you this evening. I have been inspired. I am going to qualify for something higher. I haven't figured it out. I'll tell you what a powerful group of people we have here tonight. Uh, I am humbled and overwhelmed by these award winners that I've heard. And then yet all of you are winners and qualify. I saw a saying a while back, and I don't remember who it was, some famous American, and he said, make no small plans. They have no magic to stir men's blood. Make no small plans because they don't excite anybody. And yet, when I see this business, I got to tell you, we thought we had a big plan, but, you know, you, when you start a business like this, you're just trying to survive. You're trying to make a few bucks so that you can afford to reinvest and, and advance the business. And only because we saw what you are doing did our vision enlarge to where we could have big plans and have the magic that stir men's blood to greater achievement. And so every time we achieve and we see people who achieve, we, we, we put new fuel in the engine of this business. And everybody says, if they can do it, I can do it. They asked me to talk about the first circle. Because that's the theme that we're working on. Our business has grown all over the world. It has not grown properly in the United States. And so we are trying to refocus our energies back to the first circle. They say the first circle you got to pay attention to is the person you sponsor. But the first circle is your circle. So whenever you think of that circle you're looking at, that I'm in, <laughs> well, I'm the first circle, okay? You, you think of what's in your circle. And you have to, as you all in this room, understand the concept of the business. You are rewarded in relationship to what you have in your circle. The Jaegers are being honored with 60 FAA points now. Nobody has ever achieved 60 FAA points before. The reason for that is that their circle is full. It's important to have the circles fill of all your people. But all of your people will not fill those circles unless you fill your circle. Because they follow you. They finally do what you do, not what you tell them to do. It's when you grow that they grow. And I have watched this business for 57 years. It is the only business except the first couple that Jay and I were in that we know. I was 23 and Jay was 24 when we started. This is all we've done all of our adult life. And so when you talk about the security of the business and how will it last and how will it go, well, I don't know anything except that it gets bigger <laughs> and that it gets better. And that's because of what you do, because you are filling your circle. 
Now, I always take that back to when we began in the business and think in terms of our personal business. When we began, we started full time in this business. By the way, I want to thank my upline, who's been dead for 25 years. And his upline, who I don't know if he's living or dead. I know my upline because he was a good friend and I have a relative who gets some of the dividends from his upline income yet. And it is one of the th three or four founding principles of the business when we look back at it that talk about filling the first circle. We went through a stage to where we wanted to just get more people, but we forgot to fill the bucket of our own so that they would fill their bucket. And so too many people didn't make any money. The goal in the business is to help other people make money. Not just get other people to get other people. We have to make and do everything we can to help each person make money. Now, Jay and I started full time in this business. Jay's mother was a customer. She was using Neutralite. And she talked to us about how wonderful the product was. And so, she said, my relative sold it to me and he wants to talk to you two guys. We had sold, uh, gotten out of a previous business and we were, had just gone to South America where our boat sank and we had just returned. And we were kind of looking around, we started the importing business and, and then this guy came over to see us. Once we saw the plan, we signed up. We never looked back. We stopped everything we were doing, and we said, we're going to do this business full time. Now, granted, we were both single, so that was an easier decision. We had a little money in the bank, and that helped a little bit. But nevertheless, we believed in it enough, knowing no one else who was in the business except our sponsor, and believed him and got in the business. We went to a meeting in Chicago, big meeting, must have been a hundred people there. <laughs> and the president of Neutralite and Meidinger and Castleberry, which was the marketing company that originally put the concept of the plan of sponsoring together. And we came home from that meeting and decided to stop everything else and said, we're going to give this business all we got. And the first thing we did, when we pulled up to a gas station to get gas when we got home, was to sell that man a box of Neutralite Double X. Now I know we wanted to sponsor, but we had to, in those days, get 25 customers before we could sponsor. We eliminated that rule in this business so that you could expedite sponsoring. But that left us with a big mistake because that drove the business to where people stopped worrying about getting customers. And if you study the business, you know that people who just sponsor and don't tend to the customer don't make any money for a long time and a lot of them, if not most of them, quit. If somebody starts to make a few dollars, and I mean $50 or $100 a month, they will stay with you forever as long as they make a little money. But you must help them make some money. That means you have money left over after you pay for everything. Okay? That's called a profit. But we skipped that step too often. 
and we are now trying to return to that step. Jay and I got our 25 and then 40 and then 50 customers. That meant we were making over $1,000 a month and that is 57 years ago when that was a lot of money. And right off the bat we were making that kind of money because we had customers. And we made our money off our customers then we could work long term at building a distributorship. But you first have to survive and make a little money. And all I can tell you is that's what we did. And as we have studied the business and the guys and gals in the company back there and Ada have gone over and over and they even let me come to a few meetings and talk about what do we have to do to get this thing back on track. And they came back with the first circle. Now that's not a new idea. It's an old idea that needs to be cemented in our minds and in our heads because that is the way to build a strong business in the long run. When everybody has a few customers, as opposed to just what you use, then you have a business that is a marketing business. And in Quick Start, all you got to do is get them to punch a few buttons. And a sale is made. I'm standing all of the whole Quick Start idea. Because it took all the grief and arguments and questions. In the old days we had to say, well, how do I know I'll get my bonus? Because it was up to somebody else to give them the bonus. And all the other questions about getting product. And I go to my sponsor, he doesn't have it. And if he's not a good operator, he might not bother around to order it. And so somebody could make a sale but couldn't get the product they wanted to even fulfill the order. All that's gone. And your ability to service unlimited number of individuals is in that first circle. I still have people that use Neutralite that Jay and I sold when we first started. And they are still customers. And they have been consuming this product all these years. Now that's what you call building a business. When you have repeat customers, and in the Neutralite business, once people start using it, they eat it forever and ever. And every month, they will be making purchases. When I looked at the first circle, I began to think of a big circle with a one in front of it. If we all got 10 customers, this business would triple overnight. Your business, your real hardcore business of PV would triple when we just fill the first circle. And we found with most people as you have that fear is one of the biggest problems they deal with. And the fear of being unable to do it. You know, I used to say to people, they say, well, I, 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 they would always tell me they couldn't afford it. And, or they say, well, I'm not interested now, or I don't think I can do it. They're, they're all, we're telling you, they're scared. They aren't ready to do it now. And usually that's driven by their fear. If we can teach a person to get a customer, as easy as that is today, then they will know they can do that, then they can get two customers. Sounds simple, doesn't it? But that's how we all learn. We all have grown by just taking one step. And when we get our people to get a customer, and then teach them and help them, then they know how to get two. After that, it's just one, two, 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 one. You know, that 
is what fills that first circle. And when we begin to get a good number in the first circle, then the people you bring in will have been taught and you will teach them how to fill their circle. And then as they reach beyond their circle, that whole thing starts to repeat itself. And you will have a business that goes on. What makes this business so powerful? And especially when you fill the first circle. Is the fundamental thing we did in the very first was the pass-through system. The ability to have the money always move to the people who were doing the work. And it bypasses those who don't. And you don't have to argue about it, you don't have to yell and scream at anybody, it just goes by them. Now, that was an absolute gift of God and a stroke of genius. We sat on our kitchen floor with big, we went to the butcher market and got big rolls of his paper. And we would sit on our knees and draw imaginary lines of sponsorship up to the 200th level to see how this money would flow. Because when we started selling Neutralite, the plan was very simple. You could go up to 25% and earn whatever that bonus step, those steps were. And then you became a director, what they called a key agent. You separated. And then 2% on what you made went to your sponsor. It didn't make any difference what your sponsor did. It didn't matter that you really did all the work to help that guy. But the money moved to that next sponsor. It didn't pass, it just went to him. You got 2% on what he did. That's the plan that we had when we started. But you can see how quickly we discovered the fallacy of that. And the trick always was to find out how do we move the money to the people doing the work. And therefore this whole pass-through system was developed. You know, there are a lot of other copycats of our business. Very few of them do this. They never understood it because they just wanted to accumulate the money up to the top. That wasn't our goal. Our goal was to get the money to the people who do the work. And if we did that, and you were at the top, so to speak, but you see, there is no top. There are people who started before you. So they're top of where they started. But there is somebody who started before them who's the top of them. And I guess we get to be the top. But that's not important. In our business, there is no top. There is no person it all runs up to. It runs up to the person in the system who ever is doing the work. Now that was a stroke of genius. Now the second thing that was important in the business was the renewal system. That each person had to renew every year. That meant we didn't discuss whether they ought to stay in or get out or try and put them out and they wanted to stay in. They determined themselves if they wanted to stay in. But once that is settled, then they only got what they did and contributed to the system anyway because of the pass-through system. And so that meant two things happened. Well, one thing. That meant we could recruit unlimited numbers of people, but since they had to renew and they had to pay every year, there was no cost in keeping them in the business. They self-liquidated. A genius thing. Because if they wanted to stay in, at least the cost of leaving them in the line didn't drag anybody else down or cost anybody else. So we could add any number, we could add billions. 
and then you put the pass-through system in, then it doesn't make any difference how many we have, because the money keeps moving wherever it's supposed to move. Now, you have just taken those things and seen them, but I got to tell you, those are the most miraculous things you've ever seen. When you really comprehend what this business does. You know, in your normal job, you're always worrying about what so-and-so made and what does he make compared to what you do and I work harder than he does. And I mean a regular job where the boss determines who gets what. And you always feel somehow you get underpaid. you got a plan where you get paid what you do. But more than that, you have a plan that has unlimited potential. But when you fill the first circle properly, you have something that has a explosive power that will take place. And we will become known as the best marketer in the land. Today we're often laughed at as a funny little old plan. But if we would just fill the first circle, we'll become known as the best marketer anybody's ever seen by getting everybody just to get a few. I give you a number of 10 uh, customers. It would blow the marketing world away and all this negative stuff you've heard about this plan doesn't work and so forth will be, will be gone. You know, we gotta beat that negative by performance. And when we have more people making than losing, we win. And then the multiplication and the power of the plan will come forth. But you are evidencing what you can do despite those problems. Can you imagine what it would start to do if we would just get that whole thing by filling the first circle working a little better? It would blow all that stuff away. There were a couple other things that were important in that process. The third thing I put down was the international marketing where everybody could sponsor everywhere. That is totally unique, you know. No other company ever did that before. If you have a car dealership in, the, in this country, you know, you, you can't just go start another one. You, you can't do anything. But to say to you, wherever we're opening for business, you can go there and start a distrib distributorship. That adds new power to the business. And then the one I think is overwhelming to people is the fact that, and you, there's a lot of you smart people in this room, a lot better educated, you know more math than I've ever known, was the power of the fact that you own the business. They can't get their minds around that. They think, well, so what's great about owning it? Because it is a piece of an asset that you own that has huge value. It has an ongoing value if you start to compound what it would take an investment to get that return coming all the time with whether you went to work or not. And then you ask and see how it moves on to the next generation. You see Doug and our children working with their children. And all this next generation is moving along. And it won't be long with these young children coming up, the third generation. You see, what you have is a, an asset that keeps spinning off better than any other investment you would ever make. And this, you don't go through the step of making the money and then paying taxes and then investing it. You just build the business and you get the asset and you get the, you get the spin. And those are some of the little things that, that make this business so powerful. But they all depend on the first circle. And all the doubt that people have is because the people didn't fill their first circle, so they didn't make any money, so they quit, and they all say, I know somebody who was in that. I know somebody who was in that. They didn't make any money. And you have to overcome that all the time. But if we fill the first circle, you won't have to answer that question anymore. 
And we will just spin this whole thing around with such a positive PR that you can't believe it. So that's my pitch for you tonight, is to fill the first circle with a little digression of historical look at it, since I don't have a chance to see most of you. And since most of you, and nobody else, I'm the only guy around who, who lived through those things and can share them with you because we did them and we were there. It is an awesome business. I thank you for letting me come tonight. It was thrilling. Uh, don't get it wrong. You know, people say to me, people say to me, why are you, sit down a minute, I've got a couple more words and I'll get out of here. I know you're trying to applaud so I'll leave, but people say, why do you still go out and push these things? Why do you still do these things? I said, you don't understand, that's all. It's not about me. It's not about my making more money. It's about helping other people make money who never made money and never thought they'd have a chance and are trapped into systems where they can't become the true capitalists and free entrepreneurs they ought to be and they're capable of becoming. Right. We are driven because we can help other people achieve. And when you teach them correctly and add the first circle element always into your presentation and keep asking how many customers do you have how many customers do you have because you know that's the foundation we've got to have a strong foundation and it this business only got a bad name because we didn't have a good foundation so help us help yourself to build a stronger and stronger business that will go on into those next generations Every time I, I, you know, a lot of people in my age, people who we brought in early on are dead. Todd's grandmother was one of those, Bob Krauss. Well, they're long passed on, but she was one of the pioneers in the business. And out of that came Roger, and out of that comes Todd, and, and, and even in the company side, they came in the distributor side and the company side. But the business goes on and on. And now it goes everywhere in the world. You are doing such a wonderful job. It is an inspiration to listen to you and to hear your achievements, the speed with which you're achieving. And when we do this thing right, people will begin to achieve their goals at quicker levels because they won't have to overcome the dropouts that they have to deal with. You'll get more people on the right path at a quicker time. And then you will begin to see people spin out at quicker times. And not only will they spin out at quicker times, they will stay there instead of having to replace them or try to kick them back up again. Your goal is to have people, when they make it, to stay there and continue to move forward. I know you understand it, but I know how long I've talked about it. I've talked about it all my Amway years, and I think now we're finally getting some people to understand it. And we need you leaders to understand it and to see all the power in it and what it will do to strengthen and secure your businesses and to increase your asset value and to increase your pass on value in this marvelous marketing system. I'm proud of you. I salute you. And I thank you for having me here tonight.